Second, with respect to our programs, MCC, in addition to creating a favorable business climate through the policies we insist on, MCC is actively involving the private sector in country-determined development solutions right from the very start. At the beginning, we hold private sector dialogues to engage the private sector as early as possible in actually developing the programs that MCC would support. We issue requests for information to solicit written feedback from the private sector on the country proposals that our country partners present. We encourage MCC countries to leverage MCC grants with other investors in both the profit and nonprofit worlds. We also do all that we can to help MCC countries use MCC funding to attract additional investment. We communicate private sector trade and investment opportunities that result from MCC grants, as well as procurement opportunities that arise during program implementation. The way we see it, it is not enough that a partner country builds a road or other infrastructure today with MCC funding. As critical are the follow-on private sector investments made possible through improved infrastructure that spur sustainable economic growth. With the road built, for example, the private sector might now be more willing to build that factory or that gas station or convenience store or housing to create corridors of opportunity. It is not enough for MCC to just build clean water systems or health clinics, as important as these are, unless the private sector employs the healthier, more productive workforce that results. The private sector is not an afterthought in our programs. It is integral to our programs and to their success. What MCC starts, we want the private sector to finish. Where MCC leads, we want the private sector to follow. As we see through MCC's work, this is how emerging markets can and will develop. Let me leave you with a call to action. During her trip to Sub-Saharan Africa, our board chair, the Secretary of State, Hillary Rodham Clinton, stated that there are business opportunities in solving the problems of the poor. Think about this. There are business opportunities in solving the problems of the poor. I think MCC partner countries are excellent examples of where business opportunities and solutions for the poor merge. This is a clear call to action. We call on the private sector to work with us at MCC, adding to, complementing, and building upon MCC investments. And I know many of you here from private businesses, the international development community, other U.S. government agencies, and international donors have your own examples to share about how public-private partnerships are working in practice. A conference like this allows us to exchange ideas, to learn from one another, learn what the best practices are, to advance the private sector's role in the social and economic development of emerging markets. Working together through public-private partnerships has the tremendous potential of not only increasing a business's bottom line, but also of moving many more of the world's poor out of poverty. We can and we must explore ways to tackle multiple bottom lines, to benefit business, and to win the fight against global poverty. The Millennium Challenge Corporation welcomes working with all of you to be part of that solution that will make a meaningful and sustainable difference in the lives of the poor. Thank you very much.